So we pick up Larry's story when he joined the Light Cavalry at Flemish Farm. Despite dumping a few riders in Windsor Great Park, he was a popular horse thanks to his cheeky yet charming character. Vincent Savalainen clicked with Larry and ended up taking him on loan and eventually Larry was transferred to him for the grand sum of one pound. As we know from Major Roy Sanders, Larry wasn't the best jumper and after the usual bucking during jumping lessons, Larry was not used for jumping anymore. However, Vincent took on the challenge of Larry and got him to a level where he completed a clear round at Flemish Farm. <laughs> Caroline Quested, stable manager for the light cavalry at Flemish Farm, wrote, Larry came to the light cavalry in 2003. He was a stubborn git. If he wanted to go in one direction, he would go there. He did once make a very fast exit from the annual inspection rehearsal back to the yard with his trooper hanging on for dear life. On the flip side, he was amazing on parades and there wasn't a parade that happened without Larry being on it. He was so patient teaching the beginners and many riders owe him a big thank you. As well as jumping, Larry took part in many dressage tests as well. Larry was a regular at Windsor Great Park Equestrians Club dressage competitions. Larry sometimes had slight disagreements with light cavalry troopers. For example, whilst doing the annual inspection, he treated his rider to a surprise tour of the field, during which the poor man lost his hat. As you can see, Prince Michael's face says it all. In 2010, Larry took part in a charity ride hacking from Windsor Great Park to Ascot Racecourse with another 600 fellow horses and over £1 million was raised for wounded servicemen and women. Larry took part in the British military tournament at Earls Court several times. He loved the cavalry charge and got so excited one time that he dumped his trooper in front of 10,000 spectators. He cantered out of the arena to shouts of, loose horse, loose horse. When he was backstage, he stopped. He looked around, saw Caroline, and then walked over to her. In the meantime, his trooper got up, dusted himself off, and walked out of the arena with his head held high as the crowd applauded. Larry was retired to a field at Lakeside Stable Yard. While he was there, he fell in love with a young mare and the pair became inseparable. They spent the winter together. Then, like all good things, it had to come to an end. He was separated from his mare and spent so many days calling out for her, but ultimately she had been moved on to pastures new. This distress was believed to have contributed to a massive colic that almost ended his life. Thanks to Caroline Whittle and Georgie Broom for getting him through. Larry began a new era at Tar Place. He was well looked after by Claire and the grooms. Early on he did have another big colic scare, but yet again pulled through. He enjoyed hacking back in his old stomping ground, Great Windsor Park. Yeah, the first time I ever met Larry was uh, when he was at Lakeside. Um, I remember getting on him for the first time and uh, I think it was kind of, I was just getting back into riding 
after a 30 year gap and yeah it's kind of like I got on and you wouldn't move so uh, it was a bit of a disaster really the first time yeah but then we had a couple of hacks out with uh, some of the people from Lakeside Stables um, so that was good uh, and it became a regular thing on Sunday we'd go for a, a long hack um, which was good in, uh, in September 2013, uh, September 2013 to October 2013, sometime in between then, Larry moved to Tile Place um, and I took over uh, being a sharer, which was a very new experience for me. Yeah, it was good. We, um, you know, it was great hacking Larry out in the park. He could, be, he could be a bit of a handful from time to time, but on the whole, um, he was very well behaved. And you know, great memories of Larry bucking in the park and uh, you know, taking off up with racing Benson and. Late last year, we took part in, uh, four of us took part in um, the cavalry charge for Longbow Archers, the fraternity of St George. It took a little time to get where I wanted. It took a little time to get free. Took a little time to be honest. Larry being difficult with other horses, it was uh, it was quite for me. It was quite um, a scary thing to do. Uh, I must admit, I was crapping myself the night before, and I nearly pulled out. But um, I went through. We did it, and you know, Larry was a star. He uh, charged through with the rest of the horses. I get heavy hearted thinking of how we used to kiss. First time he was a little bit behind, but then on the second, on the way back, because um, we did it twice, he, yeah, it was brilliant, it was amazing. Um, that's probably one of my best memories on Larry that I can remember. Uh, yeah, that was that really was great. He was such a star. Courage, the sweet 